Hello guys and welcome to my new video and in this video we'll be talking about uh, the tool Wireshark and how we can use this uh, Wireshark tool uh, for sniffing passwords and usernames. So uh, I think that uh, you might have heard about the Wireshark tool. Uh, it's a basically a very powerful tool and very widely used tool for uh, network uh, protocol analysis. It's also used for security purposes uh, and for uh, security analysis and monitoring the traffic uh, on the network. Now, uh, in this uh, video, we'll be talking about this Wireshark tool and we'll be seeing that how we can use this particular tool for sniffing passwords and usernames that are sent uh, as an HTTP uh, request uh, from our own system. Now, uh, first, let's talk about uh, basically what is Wireshark and uh, what it's basically is all about. So, uh, the first thing is that uh, Wireshark is a protocol analyzer, like I told, uh, that allows you to see what's happening on a network at a microscopic level. It uh, opens up uh, a new uh, region or a new uh, aspect of analyzing a network in which we can see uh, the whole traffic and we can see the requests and the responses that are being shared. We can uh, see that uh, what all is happening on a network and we can uh, use this for uh, various purposes and for security analysis as well. Now, uh, the second uh, feature of Wireshark that it provides us with uh, real-time network traffic capturing and also monitoring. So, uh, with the help of uh, Wireshark, we can uh, capture the traffic on the network and we can also monitor the traffic on the network. Uh, Wireshark have different capabilities which uh, helps us uh, to uh, get to know about various types of requests and responses or packets that are uh, not safe for the network. Uh, it has color coding schemes that uh, helps us distinguish between good and bad packets in a much more uh, easier way. Now, the third point uh, is that uh, security analysis of threats uh, or threats on a network can also be done using Wireshark. Uh, security threats like uh, malware infections, unauthorized access attempts, uh, etc. can be uh, detected using Wireshark and can also be analyzed using this uh, particular tool. Now, uh, we can also capture uh, DHCP traffic, uh, that is the DORA uh, packets uh, using this Wireshark tool, uh, which is uh, one of the trademark feature of this uh, tool as uh, most of the tools that uh, an uh, analyze traffic on the network or captures or monitors the network uh, does not capture the DHCP traffic. Now, uh, this is a brief uh, intro about what uh, Wireshark is all about and how it operates and, and how it helps us uh, in uh, monitoring the traffic on the network and uh, perform security analysis. Now we'll move on to the demonstration part where I will uh, tell you about uh, the Wireshark tool and we'll also see that how we can uh, use this particular tool for uh, sniffing passwords and usernames uh, that are being sent as an HTTP request from our system. Uh, and uh, I'll uh, meet you at my Linux setup. So guys, now I'm on my uh, Kali machine and here I'll be demonstrating to you how uh, Wireshark actually works uh, in a basic way and how we can use this Wireshark tool to sniff passwords and usernames that are sent as an HTTP request uh, from our system uh, to any server. Now, uh, it is uh, required to mention that uh, Wireshark is only capable of uh, examining uh, the data of HTTP requests uh, uh, that are sent from our system. So uh, the passwords and the username that are sent from our system as an HTTP request to the server, we can only be uh, detecting those or sniff those passwords and usernames. Uh, Wireshark is not capable of detecting or examining passwords that are sent uh, from another system as an HTTP request to the server. So, now we'll see how uh, we can perform this. Uh, so I'm on my Kali machine as I told and uh, in Kali the Wireshark tool is uh, pre-installed. Uh, so you just need to go here and uh, if you type Wireshark, you can see that uh, Wireshark tool is here. Just click on the Wireshark tool and it will open the Wireshark tool. So Wireshark tool looks like this and uh, it says welcome to Wireshark. This is the landing page of the Wireshark tool. Here we can see a number of interfaces are all shown here, like ETH0, the Ethernet uh, uh, interface, uh, now loopback interface, Bluetooth monitor, and uh, a lot of other interfaces. So the main uh, area of our interest here is now the ETH0, that is the Ethernet interface, uh, to which uh, we'll uh, all capture the packets or the monitor the traffic on it. Wireshark tool in itself is a huge tool and uh, has a lot of functionalities and uh, people take months to study the uh, Wireshark tool. So uh, now I'll explain uh, how Wireshark tool uh, works. 
by uh, showing you how we can sniff passwords and usernames uh, that are sent as an HTTP request from our system. So uh, first, if I just click on this ETH zero interface, so now it will start capturing the whole uh, packets or the number of uh, uh, requests and responses that are uh, being shared on this network. So like I'm now connected with the Ethernet, uh, Ethernet like uh, this wired connection. You can see that uh, here a lot of uh, packets that are being uh, captured by us. So uh, till now it has already uh, captured like 1,400 around uh, packets. So uh, we can see that after some time, we can see that it has captured almost around 7,000 packets. But uh, our interest is only the HTTP packets after I have logged in uh, to the HTML site. Now uh, I'll show that uh, how we can capture the username and passwords that are sent from our system. So now I'll go to my browser and uh, I'll type HTTP uh, login page. Uh, now it takes some time for loading due to the internet connection. So here we can see that uh, here's a Valen web uh, site, a login page site. We'll click on it. Now we are into our HTTP login page or uh, test uh, login page. So here uh, I type my name as the username and I'll give some password which I'm keeping it secret for now. And uh, we'll see that uh, password after we have captured it via the Wireshark. So I'll also continue the Wireshark. So now it has uh, again started capturing all the packets uh, and monitoring the network. So now I'll give it a password here. So uh, I have logged in uh, to this uh, login page and now we'll uh, see, uh, now I'll just pause or stop the caption of the packets. So let me magnify it. Huh. So now uh, we'll see uh, that uh, till now it has already captured like around 1200 packets, but uh, the packets of our interest is basically, basically the HTTP packets or HTTP post requests basically, uh, which uh, will contain our username and passwords that has been sent from our system to the servers. So uh, in for that, we can apply a display filter over here. Uh, this is a very good feature that is provided to us by the Wireshark for filtering our packets and to get the packets that we actually want and we actually want to analyze. So I just type here HTTP. And if I hit enter, we can see that uh, these are the HTTP packets that this Wireshark uh, tool has captured. So here we can see that there are a number of HTTP packets like uh, this, the login.php, get packet uh, and other packets. But uh, the packets that we want to see are the post requests. So we'll um, modify our filter as uh, HTTP request method post. And if we hit enter, we can see that after we have uh, applied the filter of HTTP request dot method equal equal post, we have one packet uh, that is uh, matching this filter. Now, if we'll click on it and then we go into the HTML form URL encoded, we can see that the username is Akshat that I typed and the password is ha 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 password. So this is how we can capture uh, or sniff passwords and usernames that are sent as an HTTP post request from our system to any other server. So uh, we can also uh, analyze this packet in a much more depth. Uh, for example, here we can see the frame. So the frames actually uh, are uh, used in the data link layer and uh, we can examine the data link layer. We can examine the interface ID. We can see uh, the num frame number, the frame length. We can also uh, see the IP protocol version. We can see the source IP, the destination IP. We can also see the total length of it. We can also see the protocol uh, or the supporting protocol being used. We can also see uh, TCP or uh, transport layer features or transport layer uh, details over here also. For example, the destination port number is 80, which is uh, used for HTTP requests. Uh, and uh, various such features can be uh, or uh, extracted using this uh, Wireshark tool and can be analyzed using this Wireshark tool. Let's try again. 
now I'm again on my HTTP login page and now I'll give some other username to it uh, for suppose I'll give the username as Darth and now I'll tell you the password that I'm giving so I'm giving the password I know your password and if I hit login and then don't save so now let's see uh, how Wireshark has captured this so now I'll stop capturing the packets and uh, I again uh, put a filter of HTTP dot request dot method and post. So yeah, we can see here uh, there is a post request user info dot php. If we double click on it and then uh, we open the HTML form uh, URL encoded, and yay, we got our password and also our username. The username is Darth and the password that I gave I know your password. So uh, this is how we can uh, capture or sniff uh, passwords and usernames that are sent from our system as an HTTP request to another server. Uh, so that's all for the practical part of it. Uh, part of it. I hope uh, that uh, you liked this video and you understood all the things and you also understood the basics of uh, how a uh, Wireshark tool actually works and uh, how it can be used for analysis purposes and monitoring purposes. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video and uh, thank you guys. Thanks for joining in. Uh, see you soon.